Hello, Boise Brave, and welcome to KBHS TV. Today's Friday, April 9th. I'm Joe Kreisenbeck. And I'm Davis Oman, and these are your weekly video announcements. Sophomores and juniors, please don't forget to let your voice be heard by voting in the Student Council primary elections today. Along those same lines, Student Council is tackling a very important issue, and they need your help. Representative Mike Simpson has put forth a proposal to remove four Snake River dams in order to help bring back native salmon. Next week, Student Council is coordinating a letter writing campaign to advocate for the support of Simpson's proposal. Check it out. Hey Boise High, I'm Shiva Rajvindari and I like salmon. Since the 1960s, there have been these four unnecessary dams on the Lower Snake River that have been driving these fish to extinction. Ever heard of Redfish Lake or Salmon River? They got their names because there used to be so many fish, the water would be tinted red. Now only hundreds return each year. That's why Congressman Simpson has proposed the Northwest In Transition Plan, which will remove the four dams, invest billions in Pacific Northwest energy infrastructures, create thriving waterfront communities, and yes, save our prized fish. Andrew McLeod, the Boise High Green Club, in partnership with Student Council, will be hosting a letter writing campaign. We'll be writing letters to Governor Little and Senators Risch and Grapo. It's gonna be groundbreaking. We hope to write a thousand letters. We'll also be selling these super sick Save Idaho Salmon shirts, benefiting groups working for dam removal for $12. Now is the time to restore Idaho's keystone fish, revitalize Pacific Northwest economy, and restore Idaho's environmental legacy. You can learn more about the Northwest in Transition proposal at saveidahosalmon.org. Thank you, Boise High. We'll see you at lunch next week. Save Yay! Idaho Salmon! You know, it's pretty cool how Boise High students get so involved. I couldn't agree more, Joe. In fact, we wanted to take a few moments to shed light on another important issue called Project Alarm. Project Alarm? I'm pretty sure I haven't heard that one before. No worries. Here's a short video to explain the whole thing. Take a look. Project Alarm. Our goal is not only to educate women about safety, but also provide the necessary tools such as alarms. Many people wonder why talking about violence in terms of gender is so important. According to the U.S. Department of Justice, 99% of sexual assault victims identify as female. Violence against anyone is not okay. This is a big discussion concerning sexual assault. There is no reason for rape except for rapists. Personal alarms are nondescript and can be taken anywhere. They alert others to potential assaults around them and can often deter an assailant from causing harm. This is why we formed Project Alarm. Our overarching goal is to distribute personal alarms to as many young women as possible and to educate and inform people along the way. We would really appreciate you to follow our Instagram and to check out the resources we have attached below if you have any questions or concerns. Together, we can make a difference in the lives of young girls all across the valley. It's time for today's club and event news. Finn, tell us what's happening. I'm Finn Ehrman and it's time for your club and activity report. Did you know that every two seconds someone in the U.S. needs blood? You can do your part by signing up for the blood drive happening on April 13th in the tech gym. Th think about it. Your donation can have the impact to save not one, not two, but three lives. It, um, if the philanthropy of saving lives doesn't lure you, perhaps a $10, $10 gift card and some free snacks might do the trick. Please stop by the sign-up table in the quad to learn more. Well, this has been Finn, and you are officially up to date. Back, back to you, Davis. Let's turn things over to Charlie at our sports desk. Charlie, tell us the score. Hi, Brave fans. I'm Charlie Johnson, and it's time to talk sports. Good luck to our softball team, who has crosstown rival Bora tonight. The first, first pitch is thrown at 5 p.m. Be there. More good luck to our baseball team, who will also be battling Bora at Bora. Their game starts at 6 p.m. Guess what else is at Bora? Our track team. Events begin at 4.30. Good luck, squad. Next week, our girls and boys golf teams will participate in a tournament on Monday afternoon. Also, our tennis team travels to take on Meridian on Tuesday afternoon. 
Well, that's been your sports wrap. This has been Charlie reporting. Now back to you, Davis. And now it's time for today's words of wisdom. Civil rights icon, Dr. Martin Luther King, was unafraid to speak out on issues of importance. He once said, our lives begin to end the day we become silent about things that matter. Remember, you can make it a great day or not, the choice is yours. This has been Davis and Joe sharing what's up. Thanks for watching Boise High.